Hey, Sivan here. Welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at fill hole, a penti polygon, and bridge. Um, these are each kind of used in sort of slightly different situations, um, and they're very useful in different ways. So, what I'm going to do first is create a polygon primitive cube. So, I've got it on my custom shelf. If you don't create polygon primitive cube, so what I'm going to do is just make um, something for me to kind of work with. So I'm just going to grab the end faces, um, do an extrude, which I also have on my custom shelf. If not, um, it's under Edit Mesh, Extrude. And I'm just going to kind of give me something to work with. So I'm just doing some extrudes, hitting uh, G to repeat. So I've just made kind of a random sort of shape here with um, a few edge loops on the way up. Um, and what we're going to look at is different situations where we'd use each of these tools. So first one, um, you know, could be, um, we're going to look at sort of fill hole. Different situations where this could be used is, say you've accidentally deleted um, a face or something somewhere, or you was going to add a piece of geometry uh, and you're left with kind of a, a hole on one of your objects. So for example, I'm going to delete this face up here on top. Um, there are a few ways we could fix this. Um, you know, the sort of long way would be if we grab the edge and did an extrude um, and then we can vertex stamp. It's, it's quite a slow um, sort of process. What we can do is if it's just a single face missing like this with a closed edge around it, we can go to edge mode, double click that edge. Um, the way we know it's a closed edge is if we double click and the, it highlights that whole edge, then it's a closed edge. If your edges go off, say down here, the chances are it's not um, gonna be closed and you may need to merge some vertexes or fix your um, geometry a little bit. But because this is a new shape and I've just um, and it's gone orange, I know that that's a complete um, sort of loop up there. Right. So um, what we're going to do with this one is we are going to fill hole. So this is under mesh, and we have fill hole. Yep, and that will basically fill in that face for us. Um, I did say when it's a single face missing, fill hole will fill in any. Um, number of missing faces but it will only fill it in with one face so uh, if I kind of show you on here I've got a, uh, a cylinder if I delete the top and then I do a fill hole so fill holes on my custom bar um, this is one here um, but it is in mesh fill hole it will fill in the top but with one face um, Generally, that's not a very good thing to do. Um, we're left with an end gone with probably about 20 sides. Um, so you normally want to avoid that, but just to kind of show you, it will fill in any um, amount of missing faces, um, but only with one face. Right, so um, that's fill hole. Very good for just kind of single missing faces, um, or depending if the object's hidden or anything, then you know, it's it's up to you whether you fill multiple faces with it. Um, the next one we have kind of uh, a bit more control over. So I'm just gonna um, sort of delete these faces here. So same again, say you've made a mistake or you're just tidying up geometry. Um, fill hole on this, yeah, it would work, but it just fills it in with one face. So I've lost my edge flow here, uh, which generally is something you don't wanna do. So what we can do, uh, obviously, we have the long way of doing an extrude and then snapping the edges over. Um, but what we can do is append to polygon. Um, so this is under um, mesh tools, and then we have append to polygon. It's on my custom bar as well. It's this one here. So if we select this tool, it says click a boundary edge, then click to place new vertices. So what we want to do is, it's kind of detected where an open area is. It's got a slightly bolder um, green line. So what we want to do is click one, and what it will do is show us um, the way the edge is going. So 
you know, if we click this one up here, it will turn it into a try because it's going to snap from this edge to just this edge. So like that. Yeah. So um, it's kind of a good way of reworking topology if you need to. Um, but if we just want to just straight fill this in, we can click one, click another, hit G to repeat, click one, click another, G to repeat, click one, click another, and then enter to sort of get rid of our tool. Um, I use this one a fair bit um, to fix my sort of edge flow. I use it when fixing bullions, things like that. Um, it's a very nice tool. You have a lot of control over it. So that's a pen to polygon. Um, the last one we're going to look at is a bridge. So um, best example for this is say if I wanted to um, join these two faces together in here. Same again, there are... Um, quite long ways of doing this, so I could grab both, um, I could extrude them towards each other, I'd then have to delete the faces um, and then merge those together, which takes quite a while. Same, I could delete the faces and then I could use a pen to polygon, so I'd have to click, rotate around, click, G, and carry on around the whole object, so that would work as well. What we can do though, is with the two faces selected, we can use a bridge. So it, it does what it's called, it will bridge the gap between either two faces or edges. So you can just do this with um, a, like an edge selected or you can do it with a whole face. Um, and you can do it with multiple faces as well. So we'll just do it with one for starts. Um, so it is under edit mesh. It does have options with it. Um, you can use um, curves. Um, which we will look at in a, in a later lesson like how to create curves and how to use them. But if you kind of already know, you can just um, add it to your options here. We also have options to increase the amount of division, so how many edges we want. So if we want to maybe do some extrudes or smooth it after, we can add some divisions. Um, and then we also have smoothing. So if I just hit bridge for now, what it's done is it has deleted and the face in the middle, we can check this by using our x-ray. So this icon here, um, the two kind of white boxes overlapping, will be x-ray. If there's no white dot in the middle here, or blue dot, that means that face has been deleted. Um, so what it's done is deleted the faces and bridged all of the faces between. Um, we do, like I said in the new versions, we have a lot of these option boxes. The older versions you don't have these. Um, so we can still like increase divisions. Um, we can add tapers if it's uh, if we've got our divisions. Um, so let's jump back. Right. So multiple faces. So I can select this sort of group of faces here, and I can then do a bridge, and it will do the exact same process, um, but this time with multiple faces. So it works. Um, very well uh, on sort of the same objects so this was originally all one. Um, if you are joining, um, so say if you've combined different objects, sometimes it could um, flip the faces a little bit, so you'd need to sort of correct that first. Um, but generally, it works very well. Um, you just kind of need to experiment with it a bit. Um, it's another one that I have um, on my custom bar. Um, it's this one here. Um, so yeah, it bridges between edges and faces, so you have a fair bit of control. Um, but that's it for fill hole, append to polygon, and bridge. See you in the next video.